Amid the bustling flow of modern life, when our minds are besieged by a multitude of information and emotions, the ability to think becomes a more valuable asset than ever. In this noisy and chaotic world, the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king of ancient Rome, serve as a guiding light towards inner peace and clarity of thought. Marcus Aurelius was not only a great emperor, but also a spiritual teacher whose writings contained profound philosophy. His stoic principles not only help us cultivate awareness and control our emotions, but also bring serenity and lucidity to our souls. His words are not mere dry theory. They are heartfelt messages, full of passion about living a worthy life. Let Marcus Aurelius's teachings guide us on this journey. Let's explore methods to train our minds, control our emotions, and maintain our virtues. From there, we can find clarity in thought, peace in the soul, and live a life full of meaning. We will walk this path together, a path full of light and hope, illuminated by the wisdom of one of the greatest philosophers of all time. As usual, I have a small challenge for you. Watch the video until the end if you are truly serious about staying calm in all circumstances and developing yourself. Leave a comment saying, I accept the challenge or simply accept the challenge to train perseverance. And let's begin with the first part of today's video. Number one, train your perception. In the journey of seeking tranquility and clarity in thinking, cultivating awareness is a crucial first step that Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king of ancient Rome, always emphasized Stoicism is not just a philosophy of life, but also a powerful tool that helps us adjust our perception of the world and ourselves. Awareness, from the perspective of Stoic philosophers, is the key to unlocking a peaceful and happy life. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Awareness is not just about understanding. It is the ability to control and direct our thoughts in a positive and useful manner. But how can we train and enhance our awareness in our daily lives, full of pressure and stress? Let's start by asking, what truly matters to me? When faced with a problem, we often get caught up in the minor details and forget the bigger picture. Marcus Aurelius advises us to take time to reflect on our life's true goals and the core values we pursue. Ask yourself, do my current thoughts and actions align with these values? For example, when encountering difficulty at work, instead of focusing solely on the stress and pressure, pause and reflect. Does this difficulty help me develop skills and grow? Proper awareness will help us transform negative experiences into opportunities for learning and growth. This shift in perception is a crucial step in the journey of mind training. In the Bible, Jesus also emphasizes the importance of awareness and positive thinking. He taught do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This teaching reminds us to focus on the present, live fully with what is happening, and not let worries about the future cloud our awareness. One way to cultivate awareness is through meditation and self-reflection. In his free moments, Marcus Aurelius often sought silence to reflect on the day's events, how he reacted, and what he could do better. You can try this by setting aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly, focus on your breath, and reflect on your experiences. 
Ask yourself, what did I do well today? What can I improve in the future? Equally important is listening to and learning from those around you. Awareness is not just about knowledge from books, but also from the experiences of others. Seek out wise and experienced people. Listen to their stories and learn from their successes and failures. This not only broadens your perspective, but also helps you develop a deeper understanding of life and people. Correct awareness also includes knowing your limits. We cannot control everything, and accepting this is an important part of Stoic philosophy. This means we should focus on what we can control, our thoughts and reactions, rather than external factors beyond our control. In summary, cultivating awareness is an ongoing process that requires patience. It not only helps us face life's challenges calmly and clearly, but also helps us find true inner peace and happiness. With clear awareness and a stoic spirit, we can live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. So, are you ready to start your journey of cultivating awareness? Reflect on the questions, the lessons from stoic philosophers and the teachings of Jesus and start practicing today. I wish you success on your path to clarity and inner peace. Number two, learn to control your emotions. Have you ever felt swept away in a whirlwind of emotions, causing your mind to become clouded and lose its ability to think clearly? In Stoic philosophy, controlling emotions is not just a skill, but a principle of living that helps us maintain inner peace and clear thinking. For Marcus Aurelius, the great philosopher of the Stoic school, mastering emotions is the key to achieving a fulfilling and meaningful life. Emotions are an indispensable part of being human. They are what make our lives rich and diverse. However, when emotions are uncontrolled, they can lead us to make poor decisions and take actions that we later regret. Marcus Aurelius emphasized that it is our perception and reaction to events that determine our emotions, not the events themselves. To control emotions, Marcus Aurelius proposed an effective method, practicing emotional analysis. Imagine when you feel angry, pause, and ask yourself, why am I angry? Where does this emotion come from? Is it rallied? By analyzing your emotions, you will uncover their root causes and thus control them more effectively. This is not just a temporary action, but a process of mental training. Consider an example from daily life. When you are stuck in traffic on your way to work, you have two choices. Either get angry and let negative emotions affect your entire day, or accept the situation and find ways to make the waiting time useful like listening to an audiobook or a favorite podcast. By choosing a positive reaction, you not only control your emotions, but also turn a negative situation into an opportunity for learning and growth. Another powerful tool for controlling emotions is practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness helps us live in the present and observe our emotions objectively without being swept away by them. Remember that nothing is more frightening than fear itself. Nothing is sadder than sadness itself. These are all just fleeting thoughts and emotions. By practicing mindfulness, we learn to recognize and accept emotions without letting them dictate our actions. Developing virtues, particularly patience and kindness, is also an effective way to control emotions. Jesus, in his teachings, encouraged people to love and forgive. He said, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. By cultivating kindness and patience, we can face negative emotions more gently and avoid overreactions. 
Modern life, with work pressures, relationships and societal demands, can make our emotions harder to control. However, by applying Stoic principles and Jesus' teachings, we can learn to face these challenges calmly and clearly. Ask yourself, when was the last time you felt swept away by emotions? How did you react? And if you could go back, what would you do differently? By regularly asking ourselves these questions, we can gradually train and improve our ability to control our emotions. Finally, remember that controlling emotions does not mean suppressing them. Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers did not advise denying emotions, but learning to manage them wisely. This requires patience, self-awareness and continuous practice. By applying Stoic principles and Jesus' teachings, we can learn to control our emotions effectively and live a peaceful, clear-minded and meaningful life. Next, let's move on to secret number three on our journey to discover and conquer our best abilities. But before that, I have a question for you. Have you ever felt out of control in the face of events happening in your life? What would happen if we realized that there are things we cannot control and things we can completely master? This is the essence of the dichotomy of control principle in Stoic philosophy. Number three, exercise, the dichotomy of control. Let's start by understanding what lies within our control. It is our thoughts, actions and reactions. We cannot control external events, but we can control how we react to them. Jesus also taught, so in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. This teaching emphasizes that we have control over our actions and how we treat others even if we cannot control their actions? Consider a practical example. When facing a personal financial crisis, there are many factors beyond our control, such as the global economy or others' decisions. However, we can control how we manage our money, how we spend and save, and how we plan for the future. By focusing on these aspects, we will feel calmer and more capable of overcoming difficulties effectively. Another example is when you face criticism from others. You cannot control others' opinions, but you can control how you respond. Instead of reacting negatively, we can listen openly and use criticism to improve ourselves. To implement the dichotomy of control, we must first ask ourselves, is this within my control? If the answer is no, we need to learn to let go and accept. Acceptance is not surrender. It is understanding that there are limits we must respect. The dichotomy of control helps us live a more peaceful life and makes us stronger in facing challenges. When we know what lies within our control, we are motivated to act and change. Think of those who have overcome adversity by focusing on what they could do. For example, Nelson Mandela endured 27 years in prison but never gave up his belief and hope. He focused on improving himself and preparing for a free South Africa. His steadfastness inspired the world. Similarly, in our personal lives, when facing illness or loss, Accepting that we cannot control everything helps us focus on what we can do to improve the situation. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This invitation emphasizes the comfort and strength we can find in accepting what lies beyond our control and seeking peace in what we can change. Practicing the dichotomy of control is a continuous journey. It requires self-awareness and discipline. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, 
Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. By accepting this, we can free our minds from worries and focus on improving ourselves and the world around us. By applying Stoic principles and Jesus' teachings, we can effectively practice the dichotomy of control. This helps us achieve inner peace and live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Remember, the greatest freedom is freedom from worrying about things we cannot control. Focus on what you can do and you will find the strength and peace you seek. We are curious to know, how many times have you stressed over things you cannot control? How can you change your perspective to focus on what is truly within your grasp? Your story will be a source of inspiration and insight for all of us to reflect on and learn from. Please leave a comment below and join the conversation. Number four, keep virtues in mind. Have you ever wondered what makes a life meaningful and fulfilling? According to Stoic philosophy, the answer lies in virtue. Virtue is not just the moral principles we follow, but the foundation that guides us to lead a purposeful and meaningful life. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, always emphasized the importance of remembering and practicing virtue in daily life. Virtue in Stoicism consists of four main qualities, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Wisdom is the ability to discern right from wrong and make sound decisions. Courage is the determination and bravery to face difficulties. Justice is fairness and respect for others' rights. Temperance is self-control and the ability not to be swayed by desires and impulses. Let's start with wisdom. Wisdom is not just intelligence, but the ability to recognize and understand the nature of things. Wisdom helps us distinguish between what is important and what is not, allowing us to make the right decisions. In his book Meditations, Marcus Aurelius reminds us that understanding and deep awareness are keys to living a virtuous life. Courage is the second virtue and an indispensable element in life. Courage is not just bravery in the face of danger, but also steadfastness in difficult times. Courage helps us overcome fear and keep moving forward, even when faced with adversity. When we have courage, we can consistently uphold and practice other virtues. Justice, the third virtue, emphasizes the importance of treating others fairly and respecting their rights. Justice is not just about obeying the law, but also about honesty and integrity in all our actions. Always act justly and remember that justice is not only about legal compliance, but also respecting others' rights and dignity. The virtue of justice helps us build good relationships and a harmonious society. Temperance, the final virtue, relates to self-control and not letting desires and impulses control us. Temperance helps us live a balanced life and not get caught up in frivolities. Marcus Aurelius advised living simply and temperately. Do not let superficial desires dominate your life. By practicing temperance, we can maintain inner peace and live purposefully. Ask yourself, the last time you faced a difficult decision, which virtue did you rely on to make that decision? Can you look back and see how practicing virtue helped you through that situation? These questions help us realize the importance of remembering and practicing virtue in our daily lives. Consider a real-life example. Suppose you are a manager in a company and must make a difficult decision about staff cuts. 
The virtue of wisdom will help you analyze the situation wisely, considering options and consequences. The virtue of courage will help you bravely face a tough decision, even if it is unpopular. The virtue of justice will ensure you make the decision honestly and respect everyone's rights. Finally, the virtue of temperance will help you maintain balance and not let personal emotions influence your decision. These virtues are not only present in Stoic philosophy, but also encouraged by Jesus in his teachings. Jesus taught that love and forgiveness are the core of a moral life. He said, love your neighbor as yourself and forgive to be forgiven. These teachings profoundly reflect the virtues of justice and compassion, encouraging us to treat others with respect and love. In modern life, full of pressure and stress, remembering and practicing virtue is more important than ever. These virtues help us maintain inner peace, create good relationships, and live a purposeful life. Ask yourself, how can you apply these virtues in your daily life? You can start with the smallest actions, such as treating others fairly and respectfully, controlling desires and living balanced. Remember that virtue is not an abstract concept, but a specific and practical principle of living. By remembering and practicing virtue daily, we can live a fulfilling, meaningful life and achieve true inner peace. Number five, always consider the big picture. Have you ever felt caught up in the minutia to the point of losing sight of the bigger picture? Modern life, with its pressures and busyness, makes it easy for us to forget the larger perspective. In Stoic philosophy, constantly considering the bigger picture is not only an important principle, but also a foundation for living a meaningful and purposeful life. Marcus Aurelius, the renowned Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of maintaining a broad vision in life and not letting temporary difficulties disrupt our inner balance. There is a saying, everything we see is a change. The very process of change is what we must accept. This saying not only reminds us of the impermanence of everything, but also encourages us to look beyond what is right in front of us. To live a meaningful life, we need to learn to break free from current constraints and view everything within a broader context. Imagine a painter working on a large canvas. If he focuses only on individual brush strokes without stepping back to view the overall picture, the painting will become unbalanced and disharmonious. Similarly, if we only pay attention to small issues in life without considering the bigger picture, we will easily lose our way and sense of direction. Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple, once said, you can't connect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking backward. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. This quote highlights the importance of maintaining a long-term vision and trusting in the larger picture. Ask yourself, when facing a difficulty or challenge, do you often pause to consider the bigger picture? Do you see that your current struggles are just a small part of a larger picture and can contribute to your personal growth? By frequently asking ourselves these questions, we can train our minds to always maintain a broad vision and not get caught up in minor details. In personal life, considering the bigger picture can help us make wise and responsible decisions. Take, for example, parenting. If we only focus on our children's minor mistakes without looking at their overall development, we can become overly critical and apply unnecessary pressure. Instead, by focusing on the long-term goal of raising confident and independent children, 
we can make wiser and more understanding parenting decisions. In relationships, considering the bigger picture helps us maintain harmony and avoid unnecessary conflicts. When faced with a conflict with a loved one or friend, ask yourself, what does this relationship mean to me in the grand scheme of life? By asking this question, we can realize that minor conflicts are temporary and not worth sacrificing important relationships. In religion, Jesus' teachings also emphasize the importance of looking at the bigger picture. Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This teaching encourages us to focus on core values and higher goals rather than worry about minor daily issues. By placing our trust in God and maintaining a long-term vision, we can live a more peaceful and meaningful life. Consider the example of volunteering. When we participate in volunteer activities, we not only help others, but also make a positive impact on society. Oprah Winfrey, known for her compassion and charitable work, once said, helping others is the way we find purpose in life. By looking at the bigger picture, we can realize that every small act of kindness contributes to building a better world. In modern life, with work pressures, complex relationships, and societal expectations, maintaining a broad vision is not easy. However, by regularly reminding ourselves of the importance of the bigger picture, we can maintain balance and inner peace. Remember, life is what you make of it. It all depends on your perspective. Finally, constantly considering the bigger picture not only helps us live a more meaningful life, but also makes us better individuals. By maintaining a broad vision and not getting caught up in minor details, we can achieve inner peace, deep understanding, and the ability to live a fulfilling life. Always remember that the bigger picture is what truly matters in life. On the journey to seeking clarity in thought, the Stoic philosophy of Marcus Aurelius offers us invaluable lessons. These teachings, though ancient, retain their relevance and power in modern life, where pressures and upheavals often cloud our minds. Marcus Aurelius encourages us not to get caught up in trivial details, but to maintain a broad perspective, seeking balance and inner peace. Clear thinking is not about eliminating emotions or problems, but about learning to view them more wisely and objectively. Imagine your life as a large painting, with each day being a brushstroke full of color and meaning. The difficulties and challenges you face are just small dark patches that add depth and richness to the entire piece. By applying the principles of Stoic philosophy, you will learn to accept and adjust these dark patches, turning them into a harmonious part of your life's painting. Ultimately, let the teachings of Marcus Aurelius become a guiding light for your mind, helping you live a meaningful and insightful life. Remember that clarity in thought not only brings you inner peace, but also helps you Build a life worth living, where you can face every challenge with wisdom and confidence. With each step on this path, always hold on to your belief in the bigger picture, so you can see and experience the true beauty of life. Let your mind be enlightened and guided by the timeless principles of Stoic philosophy, and you will find clarity and peace in every moment of your life. If you like the video, please comment 1, and if you don't, comment 0, so we can improve the content to make it better and more high quality. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe 
to spread this philosophy to everyone. Stay tuned for more Stoic lessons displayed at the end of this video. Together, we can make the world a better place.